it's a game show. Under two of the boxes are goats. Under the other is a shiny new car. The contestant makes a choice. The host reveals one of the goats. Should the contestant stay with his choice or switch? The answer, switching doubles the odds of success. Few of us would know that instinctively. Call it uncommon sense. There is a formula to help us think about odds more precisely. It's called Bayes' theorem, and it may be at the heart of a new technological revolution. In the city of London, at Bun Hill Field Cemetery, lies the father of modern decision theory, the Reverend Thomas Bayes. Most people have never heard of him. He died in 1761, but his ideas are changing the world. An English clergyman and mathematician, Bayes' work is held in such high esteem by an international group of scholars that they have restored and continue to maintain his gravesite. I think of the tomb as something of a, a symbol, an icon for, for Bayesian statistics, which is why I think it's worth cleaning the place up. Whenever I'm passing by, I just like to pop in here. It's a quiet place, it's a place to just remember that Bayesian statistics has a long history and it's nice to be part of it. In an essay published in 1763, Bayes described how to mathematically consider new information when making decisions. Back to the game show. The odds of getting a goat are two out of three. But after Monty shows you a goat, your chances are better if you switch, no matter which one you pick. When you lay out all the possibilities, you can see that switching wins twice as often. The new information is only as good as how well we are prepared to respond to it. That's where Thomas Bayes comes in. Over the two centuries since it was written, Bayes' essay has been developed into complex mathematical equations that some say are more reliable than common sense. I don't think people understand how poorly humans combine information. Bayes' theorem tells us how we should be revising our beliefs in the face of new information.